Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by an Academy Award nominee, actress, producer, and co-star of an all-star film, The Good Half. You've seen her in CSI, Cobra Kai, and more than 60 roles, including a 1980s Burger King commercial. We welcome Elizabeth Shue. <laughs> Hi. Elizabeth, let's go beyond the mic. What makes Lily such an interesting character for you? Well, I I love her uh, I love her childishness. She's um she's a kleptomaniac. She is a mother of two. However, she has never really grown up. She likes to steal things from restaurants, little spoons and little dishes. Um, she thinks it's funny. Um, <laughs> so I, I really just I like that she was a little weird. Um, as a mom, even though she obviously loves her kids and um, uh, they love her back. But yeah, it was just fun to play that part of her. How did acting and working with this incredible cast of The Good Half make you feel? Uh, amazing. Amazing. I, it was just so so fun to do a, a comedy drama with such like stellar actors. Matt Walsh is so human in the film and really funny. And David Arquette kind of plays the villain stepdad. Nick Jonas, of course, is, is the star and just lovely and such a good actor. And Brittany Snow is incredible in this film. So I just, I just felt blessed to be with such good actors and to tell a story about a family, you know, something real and uh, honest and funny and heartbreaking as well. What was the best moment from the set? Uh, well, I guess I, what was strange for me was that they had all worked together for like six weeks. And then I came after they all got to know each other. And I only had a few days where we kind of packed in all my stuff. So my first day I sit down, I have to sit down at the restaurant and tell them, you know, like, Hey, like I've just found out that I have this, you know, sickness and, uh, but, and had to, you know, just have an emotional scene in front of all of them. And they didn't, I didn't know anybody. And uh, yet we were like this really tight family. So uh, it was a real blessing that they were all such good actors and so supportive of me that I could get through that scene and, that it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Elizabeth Chu from The Good Half joins us beyond the mic, and it's time for the Rocky and Eight. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. <laughs> best thing about your kids, Miles, Stella, and Agnes? Um, what's the best thing about them? That they just exist. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite thing to cook or bake? Oh, wow. I'm not really a great uh, baker. Um, my favorite thing to cook? Gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm a terrible cook too. Um, I, <laughs> all right. Well, I really, I can't even chocolate chip cookies. I do like, I like chocolate chip cookies because I end up eating all the batter and they never really get cooked. So that's, that's a win. <laughs> I think we all enjoy cookie dough. <laughs> Who's the last person you beat on the tennis court? Hmm. Oh, well my brother and I, John and I, um, we just played doubles just two days ago. And uh, we beat my son, Miles, and my brother's wife, Jody. Seven five. Atta girl. <laughs> last pro tennis match you saw, <laughs> and who was playing? Oh, the last tennis match? I, I watched Alcarazing. Amazing. Wimbledon. He is the future of yeah. the sport. Oh, my goodness. I'm so grateful that he's out there. He's so fun to watch and such a great human being. Very, We're very blessed that we have him. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? Um, I am nearsighted. Elizabeth, what's the one thing you always depend on Davis to always do? <laughs> uh, make, make me laugh at myself. That's what I need from my wife. <laughs> Who is the most talented actor you've ever worked with? Uh, I don't think I could choose. I really don't. I just think I've been so crazy, crazy blessed. I really, I don't think I could choose one person. I had to make you try. Best place to relax on vacation? Um, hmm. Well, we, we come to Martha's Vineyard a lot, so I think that's a pretty great place to relax. Let's sneak in a couple more with Elizabeth Shu from The Good Half Beyond the Mic. Why does acting fill your soul? Wow, what a question. Um, I feel very blessed that I'm, I'm working at a job where I get to be in contact with myself and sort of on a deeper level, I get to kind of have to learn about myself through my work. Um, I feel like acting sometimes is like a therapy session when you go through all the different characters you play and how you connect to them and learn about yourself. 
I would say. What can you tell us about the future of Constance? Is it still in development limbo? Constance is never going to see the light of day. <sighs> that is a pilot. <laughs> that is a pilot that was shot that unfortunately um, will never be on television. So sad. But um, but the experience is deep in my heart, and I had a great time. So <laughs> that's that's good. Time for one big question with Elizabeth Shue beyond the mic. How did doing the good half change the way you want your kids to see you before your final days? Wow, good question. These are very good questions. Well, I think one thing that I've learned is that uh, if you are the person that is not going to be around, that that knows that they only have limited time on the earth, I think it's uh, I think it's important to face face that fact. Um, I think it's very human, of course, to deny that that's happening. And I think my character is a bit in denial and doesn't want her son to be there while she's going through the, you know, that horrific sort of slow demise. But in fact, that is what life's about. And I think that, you know, I, I would just hope that I would be able to face whatever is happening to me and be able to have those conversations with people and, and really be there with them and not try to be in denial and pretend nothing's happening. She eats the cookie dough before she even has a chance of baking it, is nearsighted, and wants you to watch The Good Half. Elizabeth Shu, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Great question. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Mini. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.